Hey, what's up, fellas? It's Mike. And I got my SP1 here because I want to do a quick video on this question that I'm getting a lot is, Mike, what happens if smart parts goes out of business, okay? Well, it's the same thing if any company goes out of business, okay? The people that own the markers and own the products are going to be in serious trouble. What's going to happen if smart parts goes out of business? Well, for one, you're not going to be able to get any warranty work done. The second thing that's going to happen is, um, you know, boards and solenoids, you know, if you fry your solenoid, if you can't find one, you, your gun's a dud. <laughs> so, you know, this doesn't just affect people that bought ions and chockers and, you know, nerves and stuff like that going back many years and the, the vibe and the SP1 and stuff like that. I mean, you know, this affects, you know, all their customers going back many, many years. Now, O-rings, you don't have to worry about O-rings. I mean, there's a million O-ring company, O-ringmonkey.com, stuff like that, that make O-rings. But in terms of the core components, um, you know, regulator seats, solenoids, boards, eye wires, stuff like that, you know, you're going to be in serious trouble. So take that with a grain of salt right now. If you plan on, you know, purchasing a Vibe or an SP1, I love the Vibe and the SP1. They're probably my favorite guns that Smart Parts ever made, ever. I'd take a Vibe Blackheart over a Shocker NXT any day of the week. I would take it over a Shocker SFT. The Vibe is just that good of a gun. But if you buy one right now, you know, buyer beware because if they for sure go out of business, and believe me, it's not looking good from everything that I'm understanding, if they go out of business, you know, if, if, you, if your gun shows up and it's a dud, you know, you're going to be in serious trouble. So, you know, there, you know, as far as I know right now, there, I don't think there's anybody right now that's offering any sort of warranty work. If there is, please contact me so I can, you know, edit this video. You know, in terms of solenoids and boards and all those factory parts and stuff like that, God knows where those are at. So, what happens if they go out of business? If your gun breaks and you can't find the replacement part, you're going to be shopping for a new marker. So... You know, it's a, it's unfortunate. It's the same thing like with the Pulse. You know, they stopped making the Pulse loader. You know, everyone's like, well, why don't you review the Pulse loader? Why don't you review the Pulse loader? They're on sale right now for like 80 bucks. Well, if you break your feed neck or you break your drive terrain on that, on the Pulse loader, there's no parts for it. No one's doing any warranty work for it. So you just have to throw the thing away. <laughs> I mean, maybe you could sell the lid. I don't know. But, you know, you're pretty much just going to have to throw the thing away. So take that with a grain of salt as you're buying some of the new markers, uh, as you're making your decisions right now. You know, maybe instead of looking at a Vibe now, maybe take a look at like the Azoden Blitz. That's another good gun. And Azoden's got great customer service and stuff like that. So just take that with a grain of salt you know as you're out there you know shopping for guns and stuff like that now right now it's not for certain that they're going out of business i mean there's some talks going on behind the scenes and stuff like that that we're not going to know about but you know as of right now it's definitely not looking good so you know i definitely wish them luck we'll see what happens but you know i'm right there on the same boat with you i got a vibe and an sp1 and and i've also got other smart parts markers here so you know we'll just keep our fingers crossed and hopefully even if they do go out of business maybe Maybe there will be a, a, a service repair center somewhere that purchases the parts, purchases boards, eye wires, solenoids, and stuff like that. So they got to have a million of them there and uh, purchases them and sets up some sort of repair facility somewhere so we can continue to get parts for our markers. Thank you.